All right, uh, today I kind of want to show you the installation procedures for this cover that goes over a flush mount handle. Um, today we're on a Crane Merchant Media. So uh, basically I'm going to kind of show you the steps that are involved. We, basically this is the finished product with the uh, uh, covers already installed and it's pretty easy to inst uh, in do the installation. Uh, basically I definitely want to have you uh, turn the machine off before you do anything and uh, you'll have a Phillips screwdriver. So I want to remove this top cover so I have access, easy access to the uh, 11 30 seconds nut. Alright, and so now I can uh, disconnect these two wiring harnesses right here. Okay, so and just remember this, this little side one here has a clasp that you're going to need to push and then it'll pop off easy. But once that's done, it gives you very e easy access to the nuts. So uh, I'm here now, I've removed the uh, top two nuts, so I'm kind of halfway there. So I'm going to uh, get the uh, lower two and there's the delivery port sensor is down here, so you want to pay a bit of attention to that. So I've removed the four nuts, and when you want to pull this out straight, there's going to be uh, two sets, two washers, uh, spacers up here. So I want to be careful that uh, when I remove it, they don't fall on the floor. We'll settle a bit, and uh, you can have the option of removing this wire right here if you'd like to, or if you just set it down out of the way, uh, it, you know it won't pull out. But if you know it's important that this is put back here, it won't be able to detect product. Um, so the, the reason I did that is so now when I go to the front, um, basically on this, I'm going to drill, uh, like basically on this one, I drilled two of the four holes, which is enough to hold it in place. But if someone um, does try to break into it, like I don't want them to tear up this entire piece. So a lot of times I just put um, two of the carriage bolts here. And I'm going to kind of come in and show the placement, but basically the nuts are here. So here I'm on the front of the machine. Uh, on the outer two, I marked these positions with Sharpies, and I just used a small drill bit and a larger one. And then basically, so I have my placement of these two holes. And then what I do, I, I um, put the carriage bolt in, and with an open-in wrench, basically I'm going to twist the carriage bolt and hold the nut. And then at the end, I basically just tighten up the nut. Um, and the important thing with the kit, it's going to come with two basic washers. Um, you could put in larger washers if you want, but we kind of want to just go with the basic washers. Typically will be enough surface area just so that, you know, the hasp is not easily uh, pulled off of the machine. And basically, uh, so, and I'll, I'll kind of zoom in here. I'll have pictures of this at the end of the video uh, to, to kind of show the placement of these nuts right here. Uh, but you will have to look up here because this, this place, this is going to kind of hide the placement of the uh, nuts. So basically, once you have those nuts tightened, uh, then you're just going to replace the cup and you have your hasp installed.